Hey guys, this is 182. Welcome back to Zoo Tycoon Complete Collection. In the last part, um, I finally figured out why I wasn't getting pandas, and also I took advantages of glitches and exploits to make, to make, hang on, where's the glitch? Where's my glitched one? Was it the giraffes? Might have been the giraffes. That I deliberately glitched. And I also learned that chimpanzees prefer orchid trees to elephant ear trees. Yeah, no, I can't remember which one I used the glitch on. Or maybe I didn't use the glitch and I just explained about it. Um, no, nothing's glitched. This is, this was an exploit. So, I have $50,000, and you know what that means. The large concrete shelter is available. With, well, that, that's not actually what it means, but, all right, uh, I do have the large giraffe shelter available. Uh, the large giraffe shelter is actually bigger. I, um, I thought it was this going to be the same size. Yes, I know how stupid that sounds, but with the way Zoo Tycoon works, I just wasn't expecting that. I got a burrow. Right, they are hoofed. The large concrete shelter uh, holds six as opposed to four. So for the uh, for the chimpanzees, I definitely need to use monkey out of the way. There you go. Okay, so. That's it on the shelters, right? Yep, that's it for the shelters. Now, let's pick another African animal. I've got lions, I've got giraffes. As I have gone over many times, I refuse to get elephants unless I'm absolutely required to. Uh, black rhino. Yeah, Black Rhino might be a, a fun one. Still probably going to be about as picky as an elephant. Um, Nah. There we go. Compl a pun for the sake of making a pun. Serves no actual correlation to anything. Is it big enough? Yes, it is. Also, are all my zookeepers doing ass having assigned things? No, neither of them are assigned yet. Also, wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I've had two zookeepers working on eight exhibits. There we go. Now each zookeeper has three. Now, we give the rhinos a watering hole. Um, I thought they wanted a bigger watering hole than that. I knew it, it wasn't, I knew, I knew it wasn't big enough. I don't know why you didn't tell me that before. Okay. 
Alright, now, uh, do they want sand? No. They want dirt. Uh, because rhinos are another one of the animals that, um, use, that takes dust baths. I think a lot of, um, needs savannah grass. Taking it baths as humans would consider, which would be, what? Sorry, which would be using water. Um, surprisingly few animals do. Um, mm, are they large hoofed? They are large hoofed. Sweet. Rocks, foliage. So, taking baths with water is generally not all that common, I mean, especially when your water is basically just a watering hole. Uh, what the dust baths do, provided I remember, woo! Baby Rhino before I even finish the exhibit. We also now know how rhinos reproduce. They just walk around and then suddenly, poof! Baby. Anyway, the dust baths uh, basically act as a form of insulation, if I recall correctly. Concrete, yeah. I'm also probably at the point I should start assigning zookeepers. Uh, it's mostly for insulation against the elements, um, and it can shake off certain uh, undesirable irritants, uh, as opposed to desirable ir irritants like... Yep. Uh, although rhinos do have a... A, um, I want to say symbiotic relationship. But I don't remember if that's technically correct for for creatures separate. Either way, uh, they have a relationship with a particular type of bird, which will help the rhino stay clean by eating the things the rhino doesn't want on it. All right. So I now have nine exhibits. So I need six more. Actually, technically, I only have eight exhibits because one of them is the breeding pen. Uh, what was I doing? How many maintenance workers do I have? I have one maintenance worker. Yeah, I'm at the point where I can use two. Uh, how are my restaurants doing? Gift shops doing okay. Restaurants are doing okay. Yeah, I'm approaching the point where I should build a third restaurant. Um, hmm. 
I should probably put another rainforest critter here. Alright, now that I've placed that and undone that, what rainforest critter do I want? Is there another primate? There is. There are two primates. Do I want the mandrill or the lowland gorilla? Ooh. I'm going with the mandrill. I don't remember how much space they need. There we go. Now that's a name I can be proud of. I mean, no, not really, but... It is definitely big enough. Good. Also... Alright. It needs rainforest floor and dirt and not water not water Oop. I have no idea how much regular grass they want Oh, uh, that's too much. That's exactly right. Rocks and shelter. Now, primates, for whatever reason, do not have their own favored shelter. Now, foliage. They like the elephant ear tree. That's not the elephant ear. I like how this one specifies the elephant ear tree. Uh, oh, there are other little tidbits there that I never really bother reading. I, I'm sure I did at some point. I just... Uh, they have receded into the less active portion of my memory banks. Nah, limestone. And I'm pretty sure I've touched on this before, but my methodology in creating the exhibits for the purposes of a scenario... Strictly speaking, the absolute most ideal thing to do is have your exhibit mostly ready for the animal ahead of time. I have found that doesn't really matter. Uh, what does matter is the layout of your exhibit. So, provided you have plenty of money, which, if you're using restaurants, you should have plenty of money. I definitely need another restaurant. Um, uh, I'll have to figure out where later. Anyway, my methodology. First off, if I have assigned zookeepers, the, my job is a lot easier. Um, because I have some non-assigned zookeepers, and by some I mean two, uh, a zookeeper could come in and ruin my plan. What I do is I, t I make note of where I want the fence gate to be. Then, if the animal wants water, I put it as far away from the entrance as possible, and I make sure to have it as a solid block. If I wind up making an island, an animal could go there, it could take a poo, 
and the zookeeper can't reach the poo. So, water needs to be one solid body. I then put the shelter uh, as far away, again making sure that I don't have any pockets where the animals could poop and the zookeeper can't get to it. That's not as big of an issue because I just tuck it in a corner. The foliage and the rocks are where it's at. This is not the prettiest exhibit, although with Santa going over it, it's pretty nice. Uh, from an aesthetic standpoint, it would be better to spread out the elephant ear trees, spread out the rocks, make it look like a good exhibit. But because of the AI's pathfinding, if you'll recall, I believe it was the Island Zoo, where the zookeepers just couldn't figure out how to get to places that were connected by footpaths. Uh, you absolutely need to make sure you don't have any pockets where the animals can squeeze through foliage or squeeze through rocks and take a poop. Because, again, if that happens, the zookeeper can't clean it. And if the zookeeper can't clean the poo, the animals become unhappy, and the exhibit becomes less suitable. But you need to ensure that the zookeepers can still uh, enter the exhibit. Uh, actually... That fits better aesthetically. Um, yo, zookeepers. Good. Um, make sure that the zookeeper. Yo. I don't know what you're doing. Feed those things. Um, they will place food nearby the entrance. I got a little lucky here because I, I, I need the mandrills to have food, and the zookeeper decided to stop going to there and go to a different exhibit for reasons I do not fully understand. Oh, that's why. It decided feeding the uh, chimpanzees was more important than feeding the mandrills. Alright. I'm actually going to title these because that's a thing I can do. And uh, this one will still be unassigned for now. Which means he's responsible for everything else, but can help with other exhibits. Whether I want him to or not. So yes, that's the basic methodology behind how I design zoo exhibits. So, again, I'm certain this is something that I have given bits and pieces about before, just this time get it all coherent. So next to the llamas, I will place, are there any other South American mountain animals? No, no there aren't. Uh, I will play some mount. Uh, uh, I will play some mountain lions. Uh, they require a decent space. Woo. So, the exhibit is definitely not big enough. Yeah, I got the silver plaque award diverse species for exhibiting over ten different animal species in my zoo. Which comes with a benefit of absolutely nothing. 
Okay. So, fresh water. As you can see, putting it in a block far away. Needs brown and gray stone. I don't know how much of each. So, I'm going one tile at a time. Which I don't necessarily recommend. Uh, it's the safest option, but it's also the slowest. Oh, wait. There we go. And the rest should be gray stone. No, they wanted grass. Sure. Alright, rocks, shelter, cliffs, and hills. Also, uh, the sage bush. Highest quality exhibit for providing highest quality exhibits, which means I hit 80. Alright, that's all you want for the sage bushes. Um, what else? Cliffs, hills, and rocks. So, uh, again, I have no qualms with using this, with using this glitch suitability a 91 and now for cliffs and hills and by cliffs and hills wait really really weird Suitability in IU2. And it still wants more rocks. You're all, you, you're okay with the Highland Rock. I do like how a number of rocks can go on the water. Suitability 96. I am okay with that. Although, again, actually, I didn't take advantage of the glitch uh, because the first part of the glitch is putting enough rocks to make him happy. Oh yeah, there, there we go, the Highland Rock Formation. Uh, I'm going to need another Zookeeper. Um, uh, you get the mountains. And... You get jungle critters. And I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten exhibits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten exhibits. So that is well, eleven exhibits, but the breeding pen is useless until I get pandas. Which requires me to build five more exhibits. And looking at the time, I do have enough time to make one more exhibit. Provided I go at a decent clip. Let's do it. Komodo Dragons. Love Komodo dragons, although that's not jungle. Ah, screw it, Komodo dragons. One of two creature, one of two reptiles considered to be dragons, uh, according to um, shoot, what was it? Uh, zoo books. Oh, 
Oh man, I don't know. Oh! I got best zoo. Hold up. Hold up. I think that one actually comes with a, with a secret reward. Uh, it's actually while I'm pulling that up. Let's uh, get the Komodo dragons. Oh uh, no, let's not assign it. Let me demonstrate my my proper strategy. Let's see, hang best zoo. Oh no, zoo uh, zoo of the year is the one that has a special. Darn. Darn, that's disappointing. All right. Is it big enough? It is big enough. And it wants a lot of fresh water. Makes sense being an island critter. All right. Water. You know, thinking about it, I don't know. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I know what creature likes salt water in the base zoo tycoon. The saltwater crocodile. I think only the saltwater crocodile likes salt water. Yeah, I can't think of another. I should be approaching the point where they don't want any more rain. There we go. Oh, it needs sand. Ugh, and I messed up my aesthetics to do that. And I messed up my aesthetics there. Uh, as you, I, I like to have water, then sand, then dirt, and then some other stuff. All right, rocks. Foliage. They like the mangrove tree. Wait, do they not need a shelter? Alright, foliage, mangrove tree. You'd think by now I'd have memorized where the man where the mangrove tree is. Rocks. Uh, you should like the limestone rock. All right, and the jungle zookeeper shall be assigned to you, to Drachen. Or maybe it'll be, or maybe it's Drachen. Is it Drachen or Drachen? I'm, I'm a little rusty on which CH sound to use for it in German. Yeah, so Lerva is... Uh, I suppose I'm letting on that I do know a little bit of German. I have Drache, and I have Lerva. You're not happy... You're not happy... Not not happy, you're... Yes, feed the dragons. Yes, the dragons shall be fed. And the lions. And actually, everything will be fed because... Well, they need food, and I need them to have food so that I can buy pandas, so I can get a baby panda so that I can beat this scenario. Anyway, I am out of time. We got three more exhibits. Uh, and please, I hate this part, but please remember to 
dislike and leave a comment about how I'm a butt face and subscribe. Yeah, this has been 18-2 and I will see you guys next time.